One of my first experiences, uh, we had a hog operation. And so we had a lot of liquid manure. And we had been in the, winning the NCGA yield contest for no-till in North Carolina, been winning some other divisions in North Carolina. So I was 20 years old, bulletproof, so to speak, at that age. And so I went out and I said, well, I'm really going to get a very high yield. So I went out and I put some excessive hog waste on some bottom land. And I said, I'm really going to do it up great here this year. So I was really excited. I was pumped up. We planted that crop and I did a very high seeding rate to think, okay, this is going to be when we're going to bust the bin. So by the time we got out there and we got to harvesting that crop, we were probably about 60 bushels less than normal on that. And that was a wake up call for me. It really was that more's not always better. It's how it's applied, when it's applied. And I really took my biology that was there in my farm and I put it under a tremendous load. It had a tremendous burden to carry with all that waste I had put out there. So I actually drove my biology down. It was in a hostile environment. And that's what we do on our farms today sometimes is we put our biology into a hostile environment or we do things to inflict pain on them. The neat thing about Mother Nature and the way this world was created is it's constantly trying to remediate things that we do to it as human beings. And as it's constantly trying to rebalance itself, we need to be better stewards, or I would encourage us to be better stewards of what we're doing on a daily basis on our farms. What this did for me, it kind of launched me into working in a field of unknown for me. So I started seeking out researchers, university specialists, uh, when, when I say plant gurus, soil gurus that, that I've worked with, to try to figure out this unknown to me and it's been a constant moving forward as we've been able to start understanding and start working with this biological world rather than against it. When we started improving our soil's biology, we started seeing better water infiltration, we started seeing better root development on our crops. You know, we did away with the with the moldboard plow, we did away with the chisel plow, and we actually let the biology do the work for us on our farms. And our, our soils just really turned around. Started getting more humus in them, uh, more organic matter, and it was just it was just an eye-opening experience for me. Over all these 40 plus years of me being in this field of agriculture, I'm constantly learning, I'm constantly working with university researchers, PhD soil biologists, microbiologists, uh, when I say soil gurus, uh, could be cover uh, gurus, whoever it may be, that I'm constantly been working with in this field to try to learn more. Over my history, I've had the ability to work with several very high yielding producers, a few world records, but today that's not Genesis Ag's focus. Our focus today is really taking farmers, producers, if we could increase their profitability by $50 an acre, that's really our goal. Our goal is really keeping that farmer sustainable not really trying to break records or what have you. We've been there, done that. But our real focus is the average farmer, moving him to a higher level of productivity and profitability. How all this actually, I guess, catapulted me into Genesis Ag and starting Genesis Ag is I really come to realize that this world of biology that we walk on on a daily basis when we walk over our farms, we drive our tractors over our farms, whatever it may be doing, there's a world of unknown there. 
And it intrigued me to try to find out, okay, what's, that, what's there? How does it work? How does it function? What can I do to actually help assist it rather than doing things like when I over applied to hog waste that actually was a detriment to it? So that's been the most exciting thing for me in Genesis Ag is to start working with nature in tandem with nature and not working against it.